Part of a memorial along US 33 is missing. A football helmet disappeared within the last week, and now the community of Cherubusco is rallying in hopes that whoever took it will give it back. News Channel 15's Alyssa Idenson has the story from Studio 15. The reward for returning the football helmet skyrocketed to more than $1,000 in less than a day. But for Cameron Amber's family, that helmet means much more than money. Along US 33 sits a cross for Cameron Amber. We just like to keep it looking nice. Cameron was hit head on and killed by a distracted driver in December 2010. He was only 20 years old and well known in Churubusco from his time on the football team, leading the way to a regional championship in 2007. Ever since his death, we've put that helmet out. A gift from the school district, signed by fellow players. We get notices a lot hey, when's the football helmet going up? Cameron's dad, Bob, puts it out at the start. Start of the football season. It went up last Wednesday. And then yesterday morning, Tuesday morning, uh, I got a call saying, hey, what happened to the helmet? Less than a week later, it's missing from the memorial. We're speculating someone may have taken it. Someone stole it, definitely. The helmet was attached to the memorial with two screws. The family doesn't think it just blew off. You can actually see that the screws are bent and broken. Still, they searched the fields around the memorial just to make sure the helmet isn't nearby. Went straight back first and every row, and I looked down, you know, looked to the left and then to the right. But we never could find it. For somebody to come and take it, it just does, it's not setting well with us and it's not setting well with the community. News of the stolen helmet spread quickly on social media. The reward for its return up to more than eleven $1 hundred dollars. That's a big one, isn't it? Four-year-old Carrington picks flowers at her dad's memorial. She was born after Cameron was killed. Now she just wants her daddy's helmet back, and the family has a message to whoever took it. I don't really believe you're a thief. I believe maybe you're playing a prank and you wanted something. That helmet's not a piece of history. It's only a memorial. And so if you want to just bring it back and put it back on top, I'll take care of it from there. You know, you're not gaining anything by, by having that helmet. The Amber family says if the helmet is returned, they don't plan to press any charges. In Studio 15, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.